guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, so I have a good old fashioned Hermes unboxing to do with you today. Uh, actually two unboxings. I'm super excited about these items. Can't wait to share them with you. And then afterwards I thought I would just update you on, I guess this quote unquote journey that I'm on, this never ending <laughs> journey with Hermes. Um, so if you're not aware, or if you're new to my channel, I recently received my first quota bag, which I'm obsessed with. Um, and I believe that was like in late April, no, I'm sorry, late March, early April. So it's been a couple months now and I'm on my hunt for my second. Uh, so yeah, I just want to update you as to what I've purchased since my first quota bag um, and kind of where I'm at in terms of getting my second one, what, you know, anticipation for that and kind of update you on my discussions with my sales associate and all that good stuff for those of you interested. I know that this is kind of like a lot of mind games that can be played and you don't know how much you're supposed to spend and just so much going on with this. So I just wanted to give you insight as to what my experiences have been so far, particularly after my first quota bag, you know, kind of how it's going, um, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, stay tuned after the unboxings and we'll discuss. But for now, let's unbox this guy. Um, so for you pros out there, you can tell probably based on the dimensions of this box that it's shoes. Um, super duper cute shoes and I'm really excited to wear them this summer. So let me go ahead and unbox these for you. So, I'll discuss prices uh, with you guys in a second. Um, for those of you interested, I know some of you are. But yeah, so here's the beautiful little orange box. And here are the dust bags. And here are the beautiful little slides. Let me take this off. They've got the Kelly enclosure, or Kelly buckle, um, which is super cute. I love the Kelly buckle on anything, to be honest. I think it adds such a nice classic little touch to it. Um, so these are the gold. So yeah, let me get the second one out. So I don't know, I've never actually, I've never purchased a Ron sandals. And I know that sounds crazy considering like, I've purchased quite a bit from Hermes. Um, but every time I've like tried them on, they just, I'm like, no, they're not gonna work. I know they're not gonna be comfortable, but I know it's not a very popular opinion. Everybody loves these or the Iran sandals, at least from what I understand. Um, but anyways, I tried these on and they have like more cushion here, I think, and it's just softer. Um, anyways, I think my foot just fit in there better um, and just it just felt, you know, more cushy. So I thought they would be more comfortable than the Iran sandals, but I would wear them like, you know, with the typical outfits that you would wear Iran sandals with. You know, I'm gonna wear them casually, but I also think with the Kelly buckle there, this is the palladium hardware that you could also dress them up a little bit, you know? So yeah, I'm super excited about these, super cute. Let me see if I, the name was a little different. I can't remember exactly what the name was, um, but I'll check the receipts. So these are the Gulia, G-I-U-L-I-A, smooth calf skin. And I got like the natural, I guess, gold color um, with the palladium hardware. And for you, for those of you interested, these were $1,225. Um, and let's see what else, what else? I think I haven't compared them to my Kelly bag, but let's see if the color is pretty close. So the gold and this, I think they go well together for sure. I mean, yeah, the buckle is palladium and you know, this is gold hardware on my bag, but I'm definitely gonna wear them together. <laughs> I don't mind mixing metals for sure. Uh, but yeah, I love these sandals. I think they're super cute. And I think I haven't worn them yet, but based off of just trying them on in this store, they seemed very, very comfortable and they're practical. You know, I feel like I could wear these um, with shorts, with jeans, with trousers, with dresses, skirts, everything. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited about them. I will say what I found, which was a little odd, these are a 38 and a half, um, which, translates to like an eight and a half. I'm typically a seven and a half. 
So I'm gonna try them on again just to make sure, you know, I didn't for some reason have like swelling in my feet or something when I tried them on. I don't know, I mean, they fit when I tried them on in the store, but my shippery or ship sandals are 38. And I think my Oasis sandals that I've also purchased like last year were, um, I'm gonna say a 37 and a half. So the fact that I got these in a 38 and a half is weird, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try them on again and just to make sure that they're good to go, but I think they are. But yeah, as you can see, they have this nice foam or cushion here. Um, yeah, super excited about them. Let me know what you guys think. And let's move on to the next unboxing. This cute little bag. Um, and here's the box. Let me see, there's some sort of envelope in here. I don't know. I don't think I've ever received an envelope like this before. Diamonds and Precious Metals Certificate. Oh, okay. I wonder why I never received this with my CDC bracelet. Perhaps I did, and I just didn't pay attention. Um, okay, so anyways, Precious Metals Certificate. That kind of helps you figure out what this is. Uh, so let me unbox this for you. So yeah, this is the Shandong ring in rose gold. Um, this was a size 56, so I wanted to wear it on my thumb. And I'm kind of concerned actually. Again, I feel like there was like swelling going on or something because now it feels like it's a little loose. Um, and I'd rather it be a little tight than loose to be honest. Uh, so I could also like wear it on other fingers maybe. Um, so yeah, this is it my knuckles big but this part is little so I wanted to wear it on the thumb that was the intent and um, I think it works uh, but I also wanted to wear it on like my index finger and like layer it maybe layer it with my love ring or maybe like a pave uh, diamond ring like this as you can see I don't know I don't know, but I feel like if I, you know, the size I want it to be is something like so that I can move it around and switch it up and it's not always looking the same. Um, but the intent was to just always wear it on my thumb, but you know, I just want to have like the flexibility to wear it on other fingers. And here it is on the other. See, this thumb is so much fatter than the other one. Like the knuckle is so much bigger. And I think that's probably, I think I tried it on on this one maybe, that's why. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little, cute little ring. Um, so funny story, I went in there with the intent of getting the silver one and walked out with the rose gold one. So I tried on the silver one and I believe I have a picture of it. So I will, um, you know, put that on here so you can see what it looked like. But the silver one, um, when I tried it on, it just seemed so bulky and big on my thumb, which was odd because I think it's so cute and I feel like I've seen it on others and I'm like, it didn't look like that. And even in the picture, I don't think it really looks that bulky, but when I put it on my thumb, it just like, I feel like it almost took up like the whole area here. Um, and it just wasn't exactly the look I was going for. And then my sales associate was like, well, the one in rose gold is thinner, a thinner band. So I was like, okay, let me, you know, check it out for comparison purposes. And then I tried it on and I thought, oh yeah, that's the look I was going for. Only I wanted it in silver but I'm happy with the rose gold one. Um, it's super beautiful, obviously, and it goes well with like a lot of my other jewelry. And then obviously like, you know, I've got my rose gold CDC bracelet here. Um, so, you know, it works, uh, but just not exactly uh, what I was going in for, but I do love it a lot. So I'm excited about it. I just need to figure out the size and make sure it's, it's okay. I'm gonna play with it a little bit. But like I said, I believe she said this was a size 56 um, for my thumb. And let me share with you guys the price. Um, sometimes I share the prices with you, sometimes I don't. I don't know why, what rhyme or reason I have for doing it sometimes and not others. But I know some of you guys find it very informative, so I wanna give you as much information as possible. So that, like I said, this is the Shandong ring. 
This is 18 karat rose gold, and the price of this was 2550 And for comparison purposes, the silver was like 510 or something. So that's where my mind was like and what I was going to be spending that day. You got to love Hermes, right? Um, so anyways, I love that. So this kind of was my unboxing, the sandals and the ring. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. I love both of them. Uh, when I went in, there was like a watch event going on and um, I tried on the, I guess she showed me a couple of watches and you know, Hermes is making their name, kind of making a name for themselves in the watch industry, I guess. I know they've like won awards recently and all of that, which is great. Um, super excited for Hermes in that department. That's awesome. Uh, so I tried on, I think it was called the Cut. Uh, beautiful watch. Absolutely love it. Stunning. It, um, I'll show a picture of it. Um, I think I have a picture that I'll show you when I tried it on. And I am kind of looking for a nice watch, but I just haven't decided which. I'm obsessed with like the AP Royal Oak watch. Again, that's like a different caliber, but I'm hesitant to buy, I don't want to say like a lower tier watch, but like in my mind, that's kind of how I perceive the Hermes watches. Um, but I don't want to purchase like a lower tier watch. I'd rather just kind of like save and wait to get that like creme de la creme watch that I've been wanting forever. So um, I'm, I might be holding out for that. I don't know. But for reference, like this cut watch was not cheap. Um, let me check the price of it. Okay, so how to check the price. Um, so yeah, the cut watch that I tried on that I showed a picture of here, it was 16,300, I believe. And um, now while the AP Royal Oak that I've been eyeing is like at least double that, uh, that's like $16,000 for a watch that I haven't really had on my wish list or been even thinking about is a significant amount of money, obviously. So, um, obviously I'm not looking at it, but it is beautiful and I wanted to share it with you guys in case any of you have kind of had your eye on it or been thinking about it. So this particular watch that I looked at was, like I said, about $16,000. I think it was 36 millimeters. I did inquire as to whether Hermes would be making them smaller because I do have a quite uh, smaller wrist. 36 millimeter size. Sorry if I said centimeters, like obviously that's incorrect. Um, but yeah, 36 millimeters. And um, I inquired as to whether they'd be making a smaller version. Um, she said no. I'm not sure if that's something like that she knows for certain or if, if she's just not aware. Um, because I'm more in the market for like a 33, 34 millimeter watch, um, just for the size of my wrist. It just looks a little bit better. And um, yeah, and the good thing about the cut watch that I tried on, which was really cool, is like you could interchange the straps. So this was like a tube colored strap, but they have like a pink and a white and grayish color, or a couple other colors, I believe. Um, so that's nice. And I think the straps are like a hundred or 200 bucks. So not horribly expensive. So if you wanted to like switch it out a lot, you could. Um, but yeah, it's a cool looking wash. It's very nice, um, but definitely not something I'm gonna be purchasing. Uh, let's talk about purchase history. So what I've bought since my last or since my very first quota bag, my one and only quota bag. Um, so I've got two Kelly belts. I've got the, actually I have them right here to share with you. Um, the gold on gold Kelly belt. I actually got this when I purchased my Kelly bag to go with it. So I think it counts towards my second one, uh, second quota bag, I guess. Um, and then I've got the black with the palladium hardware, which I just recently unboxed. And um, I got a couple Twillies. And then I've got the Rodeo Pegasus charm and then the sandals and this ring, uh, the Chandonk ring and my husband's second installment, I guess, of his custom suit, which we will pay when we receive the suit. And I'm not sure when that will be. We did ask for an update on that. I believe we did all of the measurements and put in the order in March, early March. Um, and I want to say she said like four to six months. So we still have some time, but the second installment like payment will be $6,000. So, I mean, 
I've spent enough to be, you know, do or worthy of a second quota bag. Um, so I'm hoping that I will receive one and we'll see. But that is what I've spent so far. Those are the items I've purchased since my first quota bag. And um, I did ask her, or I can't remember if I asked her or my husband asked her, but we were like, hey, um, we really like <laughs> to update the wish list and all of that. Um, so basically what I want my second quota bag to be, what my dream would be, is a Malve Sylvester Mini Kelly with Palladium hardware, or like a Rose Sakura or Rose Azalee or something in a pink family, like a pastel pink family. Um, I'm obsessed with that color. And I think it would be really cute on a mini bag, preferably a mini Kelly, of course. And so that is like my dream bag. That is what I want next. And I believe my sales associate is aware of that now. And when we brought it up, she said, enjoy this bag first. And she, you know, was smiling about it and all of that. And I try to like read into things a little bit, but my understanding is like, you just got this bag a couple months ago. Just enjoy it. We can't just like be like handing out quota bags to you um, back to back, basically. Okay, I get it, whatever. Uh, so I'm enjoying my beautiful Kelly bag, of course, I'm getting a lot of use out of it. And um, so yeah, just waiting for that next one, which I'm going to get, don't worry. Uh, but we also were like, well, if we can't get the Rose Sakura or, you know, like the Mal Sylvester color, um, we would love a special order. Like my husband was like hinting to a special order bag. I don't know what the tiers are at Hermes, like how much you have to spend to get a special order bag and all of that. I don't know if I'm even close to it, but she didn't laugh when he said that. Um, she just, again, was like, enjoy this bag, uh, you know wait your turn basically um so but i believe the special order colors i don't even think like the pastel pink colors are on it right now maybe i think it changes like every season the colors change so i don't know um and then i'm kind of like going back and forth on the birkin on a birkin i guess i probably like a birkin 30 i want like a bigger birkin i've even been looking at like a 35 but i think a 30 would be plenty big for me i love like that big oversized here i am talking about a mini kelly but then i also love like that big oversized just like carry all type bag um, and obviously the birkin does it best i mean it is classic so like a 30 or 35 i love black with palladium hardware so um you know I gotta have something to go with this, right? Um, I'm very matchy matchy. Like I don't even intend to, but it just happens. So, but yeah, I'm. I kind of got that floating around in my head too. But that would be the third one. So that's like, you know, who knows when. Um, but anyways, yeah. So those are my unboxings. That's my purchase history, um, and that's kind of like the update. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and can't wait to share more with you. Let me know in the comments below, you know, what what kind of content you guys love to watch. I do a lot of luxury fashion unboxings as you can probably see from my video history. Um, I do like to do hauls every now and then uh, for certain brands that I love, um, luxury and non-luxury, I mean, you know, so let me know what you guys like and I truly appreciate your support so, so much. So if you love this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future unboxings and all that fun stuff. And yeah, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.